I really don't like this setup with filming all this space there. Are you gonna balance? Oh, that might balance, okay. <laughs> um, hi guys, first of all, thank you for all the support on my video yesterday. Like honestly, like I said, I wanted to put it out there because I, I, you know, I document everything in life and obviously my pregnancy is like a really big, like, big, like, this is probably the biggest thing in my whole life, right, that I'll ever do. So I always just wanted to, and I always admired people who like kept it real and talked about everything. And so like I talked about falling while pregnant and I was like so embarrassed by it and like I couldn't believe I'm not like a klutzy person and that I fell while I was pregnant. I felt so like careless and then I felt like I didn't, you know, deserve my baby and all it just like felt all these emotions and when I said I had googled I googled to look for comfort and there was so much comfort in hearing other people's stories on google and then the same thing kind of happened when I shared my story on youtube so many people were like I felt they just shared just awful sad stories of well happy actually of, of accidents that happened while they were pregnant and their baby was perfectly fine and it just was um, like so reassuring to hear and like when I was googling these stories too and just hearing people um, with way more you know severe falls or accidents you know and everything was okay with baby a lot of you had said you know you should have gone to the doctor right away and again my fall was so little and I felt and maybe I should have I guess I was in so much pain I just wanted to like rest and like not be nauseous because the pain I think made me so nauseous. The pain has been the hardest part. Like my knee is in so much pain today. It's so inflamed. Um, I took a lot of your guys' advice for, you know, getting the swelling down and stuff, um, but it's still in so much pain. And because I've always just used pain medication as my crutch and also for recreation, and so I always just had pain medication, the pain would go away. Hence the addiction it just would feel so good to not feel anything but now that I'm pregnant I you know I don't even want to take you know Tylenol like stuff that's okay you know I just I'm so you know I'm I'm so I guess I guess scared of it I guess and so and obviously not I'm not taking painkillers while I'm pregnant but it's just painkillers pain pills while I'm pregnant because you know it's just so basically what I'm saying is I'm feeling all the pain and it's like the for the first time ever in my life that I felt pain towards anything without some sort of numbing something anesthesia something and the my nausea has come from the pain i because i haven't been nauseous this whole pregnancy and then i just you know started um i, I vomited now twice since my fall and i think i know it's when i quit so much pain because yesterday i laid in bed the whole day so i didn't have any reaction that way but this morning I took a shower, you know, I, I did the whole routine and went out to the doctor just and I just felt so nauseous again because of the pain in my, in my body. Um, but some, but, but for, so first and foremost, thank you guys for sharing your vulnerable stories and stories that so many people could judge, you know, people who are pregnant for how could, I mean, how could you, how could you slip? How could you have it? Or even if they're not even in a mean judgy way. But, you know, oh my gosh, you, you got to be more careful when you're pregnant. You know, all those things, which, you know, it is what it is. But for those sharing their stories, just it, it gave me so much comfort. And hence why I shared my story is like, I was like, you know, this happens. And then so many other people are like, this happened to me too. People falling on their tummies, people falling down flight stairs and accidents. And um, so let's just, I'll tell you what my doctor said today. So we get, you know, doctor's perspective. I'm going to cover up my doctor's name here on the ultrasound, but um and this is our OBGYN so we have an ultrasound doctor that shows more the more high tech this is kind of just our um can I see if there's any person from the OBGYN they just have like a, a little machine to see um heartbeat and stuff so there is there's the baby <laughs> there's baby there it's a really low quality. It really looks like a peanut. The other one we did two weeks ago was very, like you could see everything in the movement. It was really cool. I posted a vlog of that on my uh, vlog channel. Um, so yeah, so we saw the heartbeat. We heard the heartbeat and um, that just was ah, such a relief. Um, so that's first and foremost. So baby is 
intact, doing well. In fact, when the doctor came in, the first thing I said was, you know, I had a fall and he wasn't like concerned when I told him what it was. And he's like, you know, baby's pretty indestructible at this stage. As a lot of you have said, you can actually see my placenta or the baby's placenta, our placenta <laughs> right there. And usually when it's like on top, well, it cushions, placenta cushions, but when it's on top of you, well, this has nothing to do with me falling, but like you really don't feel the baby because I'm 15 weeks now. And so they said you could start feeling the baby at 16 weeks, usually 18 to 23 weeks, but I'm ready. But then um, the doctor said, you know, when the placenta is on top, you may have a harder time feeling the baby earlier on. I don't know. Anyways, um, but that has nothing to do with anything. But other than it does, you can kind of just see the baby's like cushioned in there. Just again, as we all said in the comments and just in general, you know, the body's an amazing thing where it just knows to like protect the baby. It's like the most protected inside of you. Um, so that was good. So yeah, basically what my doctor said is a lot of just stuff that, you know, we echoed uh, here, you know, that, you know, it happens, but also that like, it's really, really protected and it takes, it takes a lot. Um, if it's a later stage, in like if it's the third trimester, you know, you go in right away um, for surveillance, you under hospital surveillance, stuff like that. Um, but when it's this stage, which is my second trimester, you know, the first trimester, it's like a little blueberry. And I'm, obviously I'm not a doctor. I should just probably say that. So no one's taking medical advice from me, but what I've heard and going to doctor's appointments, you know, it's like a little like blueberry. And so little jolts, because it's not protected yet, like it can affect the baby a lot more in the first trimester, um, which is, you know, when we went to the, on our honeymoon, I didn't even chance going on even a boat, much less a jet ski or anything, but I didn't chance going on any of that because just any sort of jolts and I was nervous just on a plane. I was just like, you know, so they actually say like even traveling, like in the second trimester is the best. They always say second, everyone I've heard is saying second trimester is the best. You know, I'm only a couple weeks into second trimester, but they say, you know, symptoms kind of go away and you feel a lot more energy. And, um, and I have to say, I, I agree with that. I think, um, I'm definitely not as tired as I was and definitely a lot more energy, but you know, with this knee strain. Um, and our doctor did say like, you could go to look, go to an orth orthopedic. But again, I had this knee injury, like pretty similar. It's hard to tell which is worse because the pain is so much more severe with this one now because I'm not on pain medication. So I, again, I can walk on it. I can put weight on it. And then one night when I go to the bathroom, like, you know, my husband will get up and be like, do you want help? But I, I can put my weight on it. Um, I do go, I've gone down my stairs. I try not to so much because like obviously resting your knee better. I was on tour the first time I had my knee injury and I just wasn't resting at all. And so now I'm just trying to rest the knee and hopefully it'll heal. But, um, yeah, overall, I just have learned through all this falling is common while pregnant, especially because your balance can be off and just obviously be a lot more cautious. Um, I mean, this is my house. I've gone down those stairs, you know, these tiny little stairs multiple times a day with food, with food trays. Um, and it was literally just, just pure, I mean, just accident, just completely. Um, but obviously to be a lot more careful, you know, my husband is a lot more like, let me do things. He's always been like that, but I'm, you know, as pregnant people we like to be independent and so I like to do things myself and but like last night he was very much like I'm carrying this for you you don't need the extra weight you don't need all this stuff like that like carrying so it's um you know it's, it's good to be more on the cautious side but and that the baby is really really protected in there and that the body does a really good job protecting the baby from inside you know which is really cool I think you always want to protect your baby right and obviously a first time mom so i don't know why i haven't physically had my baby yet but um you know i know my mom always wanted to protect me most moms want to protect and i guess that comes very instinctually and naturally because our body is um creating to protect which is so cool and um makes me feel strong and makes me feel um like i don't know just very just strong, I guess is the word, powerful. Um, 
Yeah, and it was really it was really scary because the the biggest thing is I didn't I do not care about me. I do not care about broken legs, but I care about me right now because I'm I'm creating this you know innocent baby's life. You know, so um, it's why it kind of gets to me sometimes when people want to judge my eating based on what I show. I showed in and out, and everyone's like, "Oh, that poor baby, you're just eating it processed food." And I'm like, you don't see my every day. And even if I show, and people are like, oh, I don't believe that. You know, they eat this every day. And it's like, it's just one of those things where you just can't win. But I guess I take it so hard, maybe harder than I should because, you know, I care more about this baby than I've ever cared about my body or eating healthy. And so it's just so insulting, I guess, for to hear that, to be like, oh, you're just feeding your baby processed food. It's like, when it's just not the case, and I guess that's like, but that's a part of it. That's a part of sharing your life online. There, I mean, the other place I go for um, ultrasounds, um, one of the, I think she's a nurse there. Sorry, I have a lot of heartburn this week. <laughs> a lot of heartburn ingestion for literally no reason. <sighs> um, she knows I post stuff online and stuff, and she's like, I don't know how you can even read half of the stuff. I'm like, well, I don't read half the stuff, which is good. But then the, the bad stuff I do see, I'm like, I guess I take it like I take, I've always taken it for years. You're just so used to it. But I mean, it's really bad. I've had, I had a Tums. That's not the only thing I've ever put in my body was Tums during pregnancy. Cause I, ugh, the heartburn and ingestion can be a lot. Um, and and I think, I think, I think being pregnant, you're just like ultra sensitive, hypersensitive to it. And of course, when it's about like an unborn child, you're just like that they, then they know nothing about like my relationship with the baby and me and the way I eat and stuff. It's from just showing things, which, but again, I mean, that's part of it. That's part of what you put out. But, um, like I said, I really like watching pregnancy vlogs, even if they're really old, I watch people's old pregnancy vlogs to, um, you know, just get a sense of comfort and get a sense of um like what's normal what's not normal and you know pregnant people have eaten fast food and been totally fine and um I really don't eat that often mostly because I don't even enjoy it that much I do it I do it like once a week you know but anyways <laughs> and then when I do it, it's like my treats so I show it but uh it's just and again, I really don't let it bother me. And like I said, for the most part, I see a lot of really great comments. Hence why I read, I keep saying that's a lot. Like I read through the comments because there's actually so much good feedback, positive feedback. What is that noise? Is it the plane? Just a lot of comfort online. And um, it's it's the majority actually that I see. I mean, maybe I don't know. Um, you know, like 85, 90% of the comments in my last video were just so like, you know, don't worry, don't stress about these things It happens. And it's just nice to hear from someone, people who have gone through it already from beginning to end. Um, but you know, I monitor my blood pressure every day and all that stuff like that. You know, I'm very on top of it more than people think. I mean, people are always like, you're always at the doctor. And I'm like, yeah, the doctor isn't just like, okay, great. Bye. Go. Always. It's like, okay, did you get your, you know, blood pressure? You know, they, they recommend having one at home, you know, and my blood pressure has been good. You know, every time I've gone, I've always had good blood pressure, blood pressure, but you know, they recommend it especially like later on. I get all my tests done. I get all the blood work done. I don't know, but that's very specific for people who put their entire life out on the internet. And that's me. And again, that's, it's fine. It's just more, I'm just for those who do care. Cause I know there is a lot that do care about this. This can be frustrating, but um, that is the internet. But yeah, Heartbeat is there. Our gender reveal is coming um, next week. So <laughs> that's exciting. And then we can put a baby gender to it. Um, to baby. We just talked with our gender reveal party planner and I'm very excited. I think we're gonna go with the confetti. I feel like it's kind of basic. I feel like I wanted to do something different, but any like sort of outside of the box ideas, we're just like, oh, I don't know that's gonna translate really well. Cause you know, we want the cute pictures and all that, the grand everything. Mm. Um, other than that, you know, I um I don't crave anything actually. At the beginning of pregnancy, everything tasted so good. Oh my god. 
stuff. Like food was so good. Now I crave nothing. And I eat very little. Go figure. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what I don't know what that's about. I literally eat like at Benihana, I used to be able to eat like my full meal plus two vegetable fried rice. I can't even finish one vegetable fried rice. I eat like half my meal. I try to eat the protein first. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. It's, you know, 15 weeks. And I was eating so much before now and I'm not, I don't eat a lot now. I get really full fast. So I'm not sure what that's about, but hey, that's okay. And I've maintained weight, which is good because I, I'm overweight to start with. So I've actually maintained my weight, which is, you know, good. Although now with this knee injury, it's going to be, I was working out every day and I'm like, oh, it's, you know, got to figure out a way to keep it moving. Maybe I'll try physical therapy or something. I think that might be my next. But because with a knee injury, I've gone to so many doctors about knee injuries, like when I was on tour and stuff, and it really is just like it heals itself, basically, sort of thing, unless it's obviously severe. But um, yeah, and that's that. And that's everything, I think. Um, but that's the update. And I wanted you all to know that everything is okay. And um, I'm, I thank God for that so much. Um, no baby in there. The baby was just chilling today. Like the other one, we saw a lot of movement, but the baby was just chilling. Yeah, this one's not as high quality, but still cute. Anytime we get a picture, and the other place just emails us pictures. We never get those, like, you know, people get like the accordion ultrasounds. We never get those, but I guess we can make them. I guess maybe we could request you request them. Maybe you have to request them. I don't know. In this place, we always get just like a little printout, which is fine because it's like a lower quality, but it's still our baby. To say baby, and I just said, okay, everything's good, baby's good. But that's it. That's a little update. I'm still gonna take like uh, maybe like a break off of um, YouTube this week. Usually I do a live. Um, I just, it feels so much better when I'm just laying in bed. Like, I feel no pain when I'm in bed. And I know, like, to get up and walk around, I do go down my stairs at night and I go to the bathroom and stuff. But I really think, like, resting it is going to heal it faster because I really pushed myself on my previous injury. I was on tour. I was doing three-hour meet and greets. I was walking through airports. And I think it always just kind of, like, hindered my... I thought it would be getting better. And then, it, like, I went back a couple. So it's very painful now. I'm literally just trying to, like, rest in bed and then... You know, I love making videos, so I just, you know, will come back as as soon as possible. Um, I have an ASMR channel, and I have a couple pre-recorded, so I'm going to post those this week if you're interested in that. And then my vlog channel has been sadly not updated because we just haven't been doing that much. <laughs> Such is life, huh? So, we were actually supposed to go to Vegas this weekend! Oh, for a reason too, we actually, I'm so sorry, so <laughs> we actually um, had an event, we were invited to like a red carpet event, one of my friends, um, Chris Angel has a new show, we were invited to, but I don't think we are going to make it because of this injury, and um, I mean, I barely can stand when I stand, I wanna like literally puke because I get so nauseous, but um, he has a new show, and um, I always miss the openings of his show and I was so excited to go. So if you're in Vegas, go check out Chris Angel's new show. And I was really excited um, to see him and his family in the show and all that stuff like that and just get out of the house. I had a cute little Rihanna-esque pregnancy outfit that was gonna be really cute, but we'll have to try and go out to Vegas and just see it, you know, sometime in the near future because we were really looking forward to it. But, um, yeah. All right. I love you guys. I'm laughing at this point. Um, thank you for all the love. Mentally, I'm doing great. I have literally the most amazing, amazing husband in the whole world who just, just makes me feel like a princess and never makes me feel like a bother or a pain and just is amazing in every way. And usually he's laying with me, you know, he's gardening now. This is his gardening hours. So that's my filming hour. But he will, because um, usually if I'm like laying around, if I was like sick, you know, he's he's always busy doing something. But I, when I'm ailing, he, he likes to be next to me. And I love that. He's great. So 
All right, that's it. I will see you guys real soon, I promise. I'm so excited for the gender reveal that's coming up really soon. So I'm trying to feel rest up for that, feel better. Thank you for all the comments. Please continue sharing your experiences with me, with everybody on YouTube, if you're comfortable in the comment section. It really, really helps. I know me, I love seeing the conversation. Um, and all of that, so well, we'll see you guys soon. You know me, I'm always on social media, I'll be tweeting or TikToking or something. So um, yeah, just for this week, I don't think I'm gonna be, I don't know if I've ever been like fully by myself. I mean, what are you gonna miss a fast food mukbang? I do miss the lives, but again, sitting, sitting, I, I have my leg out now, but sitting like in a regular chair position with the legs on, I guess I could put my leg out on the leg. I probably could figure it out, but we'll see. We'll see how this week progresses <laughs> right now. I just wanna like lay back in bed and just chill again, but we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, there's an instant live premiere tonight on my ASMR channel. I'm always in the live chat there. It starts at like 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. It's really fun. If you like ASMR, if you don't like ASMR, you're gonna be like, mm, what is this channel? It's, it's, it's a community. It's a special community. Come be a part of it if you're into it. Maybe you don't even know you're into it. I didn't know I was into it until I started like researching ASMR. I was like, I'm I get it now. Like I have it. Some people have that ASMR. Some people don't like the, the tinkles and stuff, but come check it out if you want. I'm done for real. I love you guys.